Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. Oh, I'm not in the window. There we go. Playing Isaac today. Just just saying that. I haven't, I've recently played all of the characters, I believe, and I just uh, really had an itch for Isaac. I love doing some rerolls. So, uh, Holy Water, definitely an item I don't want. And Odd Mushroom is definitely an item I do want. So that is exactly uh, what rerolls are like for me sometimes. So now I am slightly faster. I have max rate of fire, and uh, I think that might have decreased my damage by one. But with all of the fire rate, it's actually pretty much all right because I'll be able to connect with more shots at least as quickly, probably more. So our first tarot card is strength. Yeah, it definitely does make you one weaker because. Normally I would be able to one-shot the black flies. So hopefully we'll get a damage up after our first boss room here. And we will get a reroll. So the D6 uh, allows me to reroll items and it recharges every three rooms. It's great. It's one of the best, most fun items. Because it allows you to just kind of tailor a run to your needs or wants to some extent. If you use it optimally, you can pretty much... I don't know, get three or four rerolls on one item per floor if you're lucky. Or later in the game you can possibly get a few more if you're uh, able to deal with the enemies and stuff. So we fight two monsters first. It's pretty easy. Max rate of fire does make everything uh, really pretty great. So stem cells uh, is health up and recovers half a heart, but that doesn't matter. Uh, I don't know if I want to reroll it yet, so first thing I'm going to do, since there is health, I'm going to the curse room. And I want to reroll that. It's so tempting, but no. <laughs> Forget Me Now would allow me to um, replay the current floor, and I will take stem cells. By, uh, re uh, it would give me another item room, another boss, everything. So it's pretty great, but uh, I definitely don't want to lose the D6 so early in the game. So uh, we'll just ignore it, and I mean that could have been great because curse rooms can give deal with the devil items like it did, but it can give you know some really good stuff. Apparently it can give uh, Sacred Heart, which is one of the items I've been waiting for for like this whole Let's Play. I say that as if it's been a particularly long time, but no, it's just an item that's quite good. Maybe this will be the run. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, I see. Let's, let's go. And we don't get a key drop. I would like a key drop. Very much. So I'll play these. That's not a key. Okay, got keys, only lost one cent. Uh, there are two full hearts, so I'll play the blood bag four times. That will give me money and the chance at a blood bag, which would further increase my speed and increase my health. Wow, two dimes. So that's pretty sweet. Um, definitely going to the shop this floor since I have two keys instead of just one. And see what we get. Uh, you cheated. You cheated. I don't like that. And uh, then I took damage, unfortunately. Uh, another key is always nice. And I know pretty much where the rest of this floor is going to be. I won't be able to reroll anything. Well, I'll be able to reroll once on the floor, unfortunately. Now, normally, I should have just gone and fought the boss. I don't know what I was thinking. I obviously wasn't. Because uh, by fighting the boss, that would allow me to reroll the boss item if I didn't like it, and then still get another reroll on something, or, you know, another reroll on the boss item. Let's see what this is. Range up, that's pretty good. But uh, now I get no rerolls on anything. That was bad damage. Well, I'll get my health back eventually. First, let's see what's in here. $3 bill? No. Sack of pennies? Only because I have to. I won't be able to get another reroll, unfortunately. So Sack of Pennies will drop a coin every room or two. or Not every room. Every two rooms, I believe. And uh, just because I'm so freaking loaded, I'll take the treasure map. Even though usually I don't actually want to. Um, 
but it will show us the secret room and that's actually where I was going to check for it. So uh, pretty much did nothing for me, but it will show us all of the secret rooms, so that's, that's always good. Oh look, more money that I probably don't really need. Ah, but health that I do really need. Alright, strength card I never explained will uh, increase our damage and give us an extra heart for a room. If we don't take damage, that heart will uh, be recovery, basically. We won't get another heart from it, but it'll recover a full heart. I'm going to use strength here against pin, even though pin's really easy. So uh, pin will go really quickly. Pin always goes pretty quickly, though, because pin doesn't have that much health, and it's just a really easy boss. It's like Skolex, but you can hit it anywhere. And we get a health up, which is totally fine with me. Um, now is about time where I want an angel room, to be honest with you. Not a deal with the devil, but a deal with the devil works really well because I have, um, lots of health now that I could, uh, leverage towards a nice item. So, there are three places that the boss room could be, as it turns out. Which basically just means that thing slid, like all the way across the sky. Anyway, three places the boss room could be. Well, the boss room, since this is an XL floor, as you can tell by the fact that it's huge and there isn't a one displayed next to catacombs. Wow, I hate keepers. Ah, at least I got the health back, and it didn't cost me that much money. Um, yeah, there's not a one displayed next to the catacombs. I can't believe I took damage there. Uh, so that's an XL floor, there are two bosses, two item rooms, both requiring keys, which is normal uh, at this point in the game. And only one shop, unfortunately. So, uh, I am going to the shop, but uh, that takes backseat to the item rooms. Yeah, yeah, money is free, thanks. I need more damage in order to make catacombs like a reasonable request of me. Because the catacombs enemies are Wrath of the Lamb enemies, and all of those are like significantly harder and have way more health for no good reason, which is stupid, but I think I'm in a position where I, with my fire rate, it does work that I have to deal with the um, extra health of them, but that doesn't make it any nicer. Wow, that was tight maneuvering bullet hell mastery, if you will. Which isn't true at all, just so you know. I don't really play bullet hells. And keepers uh, suck. I hate keepers. They have too much health. They are stupid and annoying and broken. I don't think they're actually that broken, but they are s definitely some of the most annoying enemies in the game. So I'm really hoping that I come across an item room here. Because if not, I find myself very annoyed. But, uh, well, it could be either. Let's see. It's a shop. I have three keys now, so I will definitely visit the shop. So I'll just do it now, and then probably fight Greed. And then he'll drop the steam sail, and I'll re-roll it and get the candle, and that'll be my story for the day. I don't even know if you can re-roll it into the candle, but... Well, prophecy is coming coming to uh, fruition, I don't think is the word I'm looking for, but that is what's happening. Okay, Greed, stop hitting me. I shouldn't be getting hit by you. So let's just both be mature and not even shoot at me because it's not even worth trying. You're just not, you're not going to hit me. So uh, he didn't drop the steam sail, unfortunately. I am pretty almost dead right now. Oh, thanks for the half of a heart. Um, now I'm once again loaded in money. I would love to pick up the tick if I could, but I can't. Gonna get that heart there. Well, there's almost no chance of me getting a deal with the devil or an angel this floor. But stranger things have happened. I think there's like a base 1% chance, and there's still things I can do that will increase my chance. So, you know, maybe. I think I'm going to make a pit stop at the arcade. Thanks for giving me my money back, yo. 
Thanks for blowing yourself up. Saving me the trouble, I guess. I really like having max fire rate, but I would definitely, definitely need more damage right now. Or I would desire. I don't need it, I guess, but I, I'm going to need it soon. Alright, so winning here would be great, but I didn't, so uh, it doesn't even matter what I was talking about there. Ugh. Just let me win occasionally. Really? Like, really? Seems the middle is bad luck for me. Really bad luck. I expected to win just because it was money and I don't need it at all. Well, that was unintentional. Let's take that, recover, get back to it. I'll stop at 15 cents. Yeah, 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 I got, I got it. I wish there were some way that you could just, like, do this immediately. Give him, like, 20 cents and pick some, pick some skulls. Just you know, have them drop a ton of flies or a ton of nothing or whatever. A ton of items. Instead of having to take, you know, 20 seconds for, okay, like 10 seconds of play almost to win nothing. This is just, if I, if I could win nothing all at once, I would rather do that. Okay, that's four plays on the blood bank. And that's more money that I can throw into gambling. And really, I just, I need to avoid the middle. I'm gonna go left here and probably, oh, okay, I expected to win. If we're being totally honest. Oh, look, I win more as soon as I stop picking the middle. Oh, let's go to the left. Oh, funny how that works. Let's go on the right, is what I meant to say. I know the left from the right, I promise. Uh, yeah, let's... I didn't mean to go to the middle. I guess that's why I won. Left. Alright, just let me get to 15 cents already. Why are you only giving me money? I don't need money. I have money regenerating right next to me. Stop it. Stop it. Please. I'm just forever profiting. Well, if I get a blood bank here, I'm or a blood bag, I am pretty much done. Oh my goodness. See, the chance that the blood bag is the reason I keep doing this, if I get more hearts, I'm more likely to uh, be able to win the blood bag because I put more into it, it has some capacity. <sighs> but I also want to keep low health, or not low health, low money because the more money you have the later in the game, the more likely you are to run into greed, and I definitely don't want to run into greed. Again. But I would really like to be done here. Quite, quite fervently. It's not actually a good use of the word fervently, but uh, I, I very much desire to leave this place. Okay, two plays. Like two pays. But really, just just quit. Just give up. You know I'm better than you. That was terrible damage. Lost half of the soul heart for it. That's that's valuable valuable health there. And I want to use I want to use my uh, D6 a little more. At least I have a lot of keys and a lot of bombs now. Like that's always good because if bombs are key. That won't really matter to me at this point. And. Um, I mean, I don't have to worry about being able to access all of the important things. Hey, that's cool. A golden key means I won't use any keys this floor. And I'll be able to open every single thing that can possibly come to me. Okay, are you just... just hurry up, man. I want to get out of here for all of your sake. But at the same time, I do want to make sure that this is a successful run. Which would mean, like... I think I've beaten the cathedral four times now, and I'm, I'm correct in saying that. I have beaten it four times now. And, um... Three of them? No, two of them have been Isaac. 
Oh, I played more than I should have. Well, now I need health. Or give me, just give me the skate toll. Thank you. I don't want to reroll that. I actually like that. It's pretty useful. No flies will attack me, though. I'll be uh, friendly and loving towards me. Not necessarily a good thing. Okay, this is a pretty freaking hard room. I could easily die here. That would... Oh, my God. So, uh, worst case scenario coming to light right now. But this is what I was talking about, where I need damage more than I need fire rate. And this is why I value damage more than I value fire rate. Because if I could actually hit these guys and do damage, like, I wouldn't have to hit them as much to kill them. <laughs> Thanks for the second golden key. Uh, so I'm super dead right now, and I shouldn't be... I can't go to the blood bank to get health. Could it be full health? Alright, just gotta make sure not to die. Tears up? I don't think that even affects me right now. Brother Bobby, I have not collected yet, in fact, so I'm gonna take it. Brother Bobby is a familiar, it'll shoot along with me, doing some extra damage. Extra damage is nice. Oh, thanks for all this money. I would prefer just giving me, like, 12 hearts laying there. Hopefully the other item room is right here. Would you look at that? It is. So I can't even take a hit right now, or I will die. Please stay away from me. And uh, the flies, once again, are not a risk anymore. Oh my goodness. Polyphemus, that's so good. And I have good fire rate, so this is a... Uh, now I have pretty insane damage at a very high rate. D6 not even coming in handy. So now there's only one place the boss room could be. Oh, but now, why don't I see if I can uh, get tears up for this? And once again, be careful not to die. I'm still in a terrible position. I need health desperately. Thanks to uh, this room that was freaking impossible. Oh my god. Now I'm gonna die. Well, I might die. Okay. This is doable. We're playing extra careful mode right now. And we made it, but really, really desperate for health. Like, really, really desperate. A lot of things will kill me in one hit. So these guys move slower thanks to, uh the uh, skate hole that I picked up from the arcade. Okay, just just die. Let's see what's in here, because it could be something awesome, or it could, well, let, let's re-roll it. Crate. Yes. And then the first thing I do is pick up the soul heart. So now I have some semblance of a bit of extra health, and I shouldn't really take damage in this room. I'm avoiding picking up the other things because uh, with the trinket, the pill, and the um, tarot card, I'll hold them above my head and stand still for a couple seconds, which really opens me up to taking damage. And I cannot afford that right now. Of course, I could have uh, re-rolled again here. I could have just gone to a few rooms and re-rolled, but I want to save them for the boss bosses, if at all possible. All right, the stars takes me to the item room. This is uh, full health. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe I called that. Oh man. So now I'd say that this is going to be a great run. Like, pretty much without a doubt. I've picked up a new item. I'm going to go to the boss is not, oh yeah, I guess the boss could be at the bottom as well. Uh, I'm going to leave rooms unexplored so that I can possibly uh, build another reroll for a boss item if I uh, don't like it the first time. Oh, so the burnt penny, uh, when we pick up any coin, there's a 50% chance that a uh, bomb will drop. It's pretty good. And now that I have a Polyphemus and High Rate of Fire, uh, I'm not too worried about my damage or just my survivability at all. I'm not really worried anymore. So I'd say that uh, we're prepared to synergize with so many items really beautifully. And uh, I'm excited for pretty much anything that we could come across. 
I'm uh, overdue for a deal with the Devil or Angel Room. Uh, full health. I'm gonna go back to the arcade. Play down to, like, no health. Pop full health. And then play one more time. And then go back to my quest. Alright. Gotta be careful here. I am a bit extra fast. Thanks to the, uh... Odd mushroom. Alright. Just give me a blood bag. I'm re-rolling you if you're the IV bag, though, so that's that's good. I'm okay with either, as it turns out. Oh, and this also could give me a bunch of bombs. Great! I'm so into you. Alright, last chance, yo. Well, I have butt-tons of money. That's... That's the upshot. Didn't have to use up my D6 charge, risking uh, losing boss rerolls if I uh, so desire. And it looks like I'll be able, if I reroll the first boss item, I'll be able to build another reroll. Otherwise, I probably, I definitely will not. So once again, the stars takes us to the item room on whatever floor but this floor I've gone to both item rooms, so there is no point in that. Because that would just waste it. And this way I don't have to use a key. And we get our first tinted rock, and we can open it for free, so why not? Alright, more, four more plays on the blood bank. Jeez, so much backtracking. It's going to be a long video, but that is okay, because now it's going to be a good video, for sure. Although next floor I'll probably fight Greed, and then I'll be sad, and then I won't then I'll fight Greed the floor after that. It'll just be awful. It's going to be the worst, in fact. Alright, so we got four plays. Please just pay out already. I don't need all this money. L look at this. I'm going to hit 99 cents once again without ever picking up the dollar. Oh, I played it too much. Alright, well, jeez. So many bombs. Well, that is that. Time to fight the first boss. See what we got. Maybe we want to reroll. Hopefully we want to reroll so that we can build another reroll, assuming those two rooms do exist. As in, exist as uh, rooms with enemies that I can thus get a charge for on the D6. Okay, finally time to fight the boss. First boss is Gary Jr. That's okay. Normally I'd hate this, but um, first off, flies are no problem. And second off, Polyphemus adds knockback to our shots, so he slows down just from us shooting him, and it's great. Uh, even though, oh Jesus, worst items I could ever get. So pretty much, I'll use the reroll there, unless this is like really, really awful. But no, I will use it on Pageant Boy almost regardless of this item. So this is the husk. Really easy, especially with Polyphemus. All of the flies are really slow. Alright, Squeezy is chill with me. We actually get a deal with the devil. Squeezy has tears up and two soul hearts. Um... Tough choice, tough choice. Um, both of these could really guarantee su some success, but, well, I'll take the Pact. Pact is damage up, tears up, and, uh, I don't know. If that room is still there, then I'll maybe pick up the nail, but I want to make sure to use the D6, because boss items can actually be really good. And I definitely don't want to have to waste that one, because Pageant Boy sucks. I have enough bombs, and, hey, cool, free top secret room, anyway, I have enough bombs, and coins give me more bombs, or, I have enough money, oh, cool, health up, well, it will be a health up, because I'm not going to lose it between now, and the, uh, next floor, anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, I have enough money, I have enough bombs, so this reroll better be good. So that eternal heart becomes a health up when we uh, enter a new floor. 
having not lost it. Now I can't go to the blood bank because it would take the eternal heart first. Reroll to health up. So it's like I got a free um, pact. That's really good. Oh my god, we might get another XL floor. <laughs> you know, that's okay, actually. I really do like XL floors. They're honestly maybe more fun than normal floors for me. The only downside is when you have 85 cents like I do, and um, there's only one shop. So basically, I've lost one shop so far, and if this is XL, I've lost a second shop. No, it's just Curse of Darkness, which is still really annoying, because I can't see the map. And the map is, like, my favorite thing. <sighs> but uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that with Polyphemus and the Pact, my damn, and, like, really high tier, oh, great, two of diamonds doubles my money. Anyway, my damage output is absolutely incredible, and uh, I am not even a little bit worried about succeeding in this run. And see, this is why I say that uh, maybe I didn't really want the sack of pennies. Oh my goodness. I picked these up because, uh, look, more bombs. Great. This is ridiculous right now. Still haven't picked up a dollar. This, this room kind of sucks to fight. Knights in. Jeez. Gotta be uh, pretty uh, trick tricksy. I'm so amazed that I didn't take damage there. Alright, item room. No, not the item room. But, I'm going to win the dollar, and I'm not going to reroll it, because that would be the worst idea. Because I do need it for Platinum God. Just, just hurry up with this. Give me dollar or give me death. Of course, I don't need the dollar even a little bit. I have all of this money. What I'd like to see is money equals power. Now that'd be good. Money equals power increases your damage for every uh, cent you take, but uh, of course it increases it very fractionally for one cent. I think it's like one full damage is nine cents or ten cents. And uh, I don't know if it maxes out at some point. Okay, that was at least made quick, but it wasn't what I desired. Oh, you know, I totally have a stars card. So, <laughs> I don't even need to use a key to... Well, then what I'll do is I'll do this. I'll check you out, and I'll check you out, and then I'll teleport out. Lard. That's two health up and a bit of speed down. I have enough health. I'm going to reroll it. Doctor's remote I'm going to use to make sure it's in my collection, even though I'm, like, totally sure it is. And then I'm going to come out and uh, get another D6 charge and reroll it again. And that's, like, maybe the first time that I have ever rerolled lard. Because Lard's actually pretty nice, and I'm normally very happy to accept it into my uh, family of items. But today I'm feeling crazy. I don't think I need the health. I don't really care about the speed down, because I do have increased speed. So maybe I'm just crazy, or maybe I'm hunting some new items or something. I don't know. What would be great is Technology 2 or even technology to go with Polyphemus or I don't know anything else that would be alright let's see if we fight greed no but we get the nun's habit which is absolutely an item that I desire uh, may as well get the tarot card strength once again increased damage for a room and I'll just head back to our reroll here we might be able to get a couple more rerolls uh, blood rights definitely not what I desire at this point. That's a Necronomicon where you hurt yourself, but it can be used anytime. You do one uh, full heart of damage to yourself, and it will do a lot of damage to everything in the room at that point in time. And you could use it multiple times in a room because it has no uh, recharge whatsoever. Can be used at every moment. Uh, I explored this full area. Was there a challenge room over here? I totally think there was. No. Okay. Well, could be up to you? No, okay. Better make sure. 
No, I do remember everything. Okay, there's a lot of health laying around. I'm gonna play you. That gets me D6 charges, which is uh, quite nice. So, I'll get health. I'll go all the way back to the item room. I mean, this is still, this is just really good strategy. Gotta be patient. So all the way back to the item room for a reroll. So we'll actually be able to get as many rerolls as uh let's see, there's one health, two health, another health in the shop, so that's three. This is four. And uh then there's a half. So four and a half hearts laying around. Uh it's good, but I am set for a lot of good things. So there's four and a half health that I have easy access to. But every two, uh, every time I play them twice, I'm gonna get another charge, so I'm not gonna use that all at once. I think the orange pill is like tears up. Uh, so I'm gonna reroll the razor. Take Splunker's hat, sure. Yes, tears up, sure. Burn penny. Let's get safety cap. We've had good pills. Safety cap increases the drop rate of pills good. So, oh, so now I know that the secret room is right here because I heard that sound play thanks to Splunker's Hat. Splunker's Hat uh, gives you the location of each, of both secret rooms when you walk past them. In, well, when you walk into a room that they're adjacent to. I will play this because, I mean, all this money, haven't gotten the dollar yet. And, uh, yeah. Keys. Nah, I have enough of those. I, what I don't have enough of is dollars. I have enough cents, though. So, I'm still looking for another reroll of my uh, item room item. Because, uh, you know, that could turn into something great. Or, or I could just stick with the rosary. The rosary is decent. It gives me um, a guarantee of picking up the Bible later in the run. And, uh, it gives me three soul hearts, which is a lot, and, you know, good, but I think I want to reroll it overall. Oh, thanks for the mega troll bomb. I know, I, I, I mean, mostly the Bible is very, very useless. I can't believe I took damage there. Do I have the range? No, I don't. Uh, what's this pill? Health down, bombs are key. I don't actually like that, but... Oh, I, I just totally ignored the uh, top secret room sound. I'll go back in a moment. Oh wow, I'm wasting a charge. I am just not on top of things at this very moment, apparently. Just blatantly ignoring the two things that I was, like, going for. What could this tarot card be? The Emperor takes me directly to the boss. Could be useful later, but... Uh, let's see, I'm thinking it's here? No, nope, then it's here. Alright, what you got for me? Uh, fish head. When we get hit, uh, flies will spawn. Homing attack flies. Kamikaze flies. I'll get this health back. I will reroll the rosary. <laughs> Even though it's pretty decent, the Bible sucks. Uh. Infestation is the same thing as fish head. I'm not going to pick it up immediately, but uh, I'll probably be coming back to pick that up. So I'd love to get right now is a deal with the devil for Guppy's paw. Then I would be able to get 12 soul hearts. And then depending on my reroll situation, I'd be able to uh, reroll it and get a free deal with the devil item. And uh, have happy days forever. Or fight Krampus. Um, balls of Steel, that's two soul hearts. So I'm going to go pick up Infestation. Since uh, I'm not going to get another reroll, and if I do, it'll be because I fight Krampus, which, I, you know, I kind of I like Krampus's drop, the lump of coal, but I could reroll that for the deal with the devil item. Iffy. I have a lot, a lot of damage, but I also have a lot of range. Damage increased over range with a ton of damage as your base. Could be great. It depends on the boss item, whether or not I'd reroll Lump of Coal. Because maybe I really want to reroll the boss item. 
And I noticed that all of the pills have been pretty good so far. I'd like another bombs or key to happen so that I could get my bombs back, because I don't need all these keys. Alright, what you got? Our first cube of meat from war. And there's no reroll coming from that. Wow, war didn't even do another attack there. I totally forgot we had the uh, nun's habit, which means I could have gone and rerolled in the item room again, but it's okay. So cube of meat will rotate around us, block tears, and damage anything it touches. Uh, so let's look here, and found our top secret room right away. Wasn't useful. I can't believe we got another Curse of Darkness, though. That is awful. Uh, but it's still, the game is going to be pretty easy, just due to the fact that I can't believe I took that damage. Uh, so I will probably want to take the Emperor into the boss room, because uh, since we'll be fighting Mom here, that means that when I win, if I win, um, all doors will be completely eliminated, which means if there is a deal with the devil, I won't be able to go to it, or I can't exit the room. But if you teleport, even if it is into the same room, uh, you'll be able to enter those rooms, or, well, enter the deal with the devil room, or um, leave the room. So you can walk between uh, spikes like this without getting hit. Full health could be useful, but I just wanted to show that off. I'm surprised I got a first try. Uh, Dead Bird is decent, but I'm going to reroll it. Monstrous Tooth is not even decent, so I don't want it. That was stupid damage. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Emperor and I'm going to fight Mom right now. Since uh, Soul Heart damage doesn't count towards... Oh, don't take damage uh, on the floor in the um, boss room towards a, like, that's how you get a deal with the devil, so, uh, I'm just increasing my chances of getting a deal with the devil by not taking, uh, red heart damage, and, uh, I'm also increasing my reroll, um, just efficacy, I guess, and it's a normal mom fight, so enemies aren't too hard, uh, right now what I want is that, thanks, soul heart, sure, whatever, my damage output still a uh, phenomenal, and uh, this should be a pretty easy fight as usual. I took some dumb damage there earlier, but beyond that, it's all right. It's going normally, which is well. And it's almost done, as it was when we started. First thing I'll do is use the Emperor. There's no deal with the devil, unfortunately. Do I want to health up? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. More hits I can take in the womb and beyond. And let's reroll this. Book of Shadows is decent, but I'm definitely going to reroll it. Even though maybe I, maybe I should take it, but I don't have anything that synergizes with it particularly. So we pick up our strength card once again. We might go into the uh, womb picking up the full health pill that was laying around in there. Well, the more damage I take, I mean, as much as it sucks, it also has the plus side of giving me more rerolls in the item room there. Okay, Knight, calm down. Alright, let's see what's in here. Oh uh, yeah, sure. May as well buy it. That's a full health pill, so I could just buy this one instead of uh, risking my life going to the thing in the middle of the spikes. Easy room. I'll get a reroll after it. What you got for me? Uh, what is this pill? Unknown? Sure. Tears down. Well, that sucks. They're still pretty fast. Okay, item room, reroll, gives me technology. I don't get technology often. 
I also have only gotten technology with Polyphemus once, and it was awesome. I won on the chest that run. Not that I have the chest now. Telepathy for dummies. No thanks. I'm going to be quite frank there. Just keep on trucking here. Definitely in a great position, though. I'm not shooting many tears, which means uh, the fight against Isaac will be good. Because Isaac returns fire based on how many tears you shoot at him. And if I'm not shooting many tears at him, well, he's not shooting as many at me. I may as well do this just because. And, oh, jeez, look at all this money. So I can pick up a second trinket if I come across one because I bought mom's purse which allows you to hold two trinkets just nice nice man there's so much backtracking thanks to this uh, combination with d6 and nun's habit uh yeah you know little steve that's cool with me little steve is a uh, familiar shoots homing tears good stuff So that's just basically increasing our damage output. Well, not basically, it is increasing our damage output precisely. So uh, I might be a little upset abandoning this strength card unused, but I also don't care that much. But I'm definitely going to take a full, full pill health, a full health pill with me. But why do these people get to cheat, these enemies, hives in this case? Tears up, that'll counter the tears down. And we'll go to the arcade. Uh, he will play forever, literally forever, because we already have his final drop. I don't know how much health is laying around, and I'm totally just gonna be lazy about it. Oh god, more rerolls that I can't even use. So yeah, he won't ever um, go away because we already have his final drop. And mostly, I'm just looking for a dollar here, but I'm also playing this because I have a lot of money and hearts could get me a, a, a blood bag over here. Which is more health, more speed. All good. It's this pill, ball of steel, that is excellent. Keys that I don't need at all. More keys that I don't need at all. Pretty fly, that's really helpful. That gives me a second piece of my uh, protection from the cube of meat up to a max of three and it'll just block more shots. It'll also destroy flies but not any other enemies. So we're just waiting on a dollar here or not a dollar but hopefully a dollar. More bombs is good. Really, I have all this money, and I just I just want you to take it from me. Take all of it as fast as possible. Health, health, health. Uh, well, that's health. Let's uh, roll you again, roll you again. And there we go. It'd be nice if I had the d20 instead of the d6. Just leave all the money laying around re-roll it all into chests and stuff. <clears throat> Trinkets, items, whatever. Bombs are key, I do want... Oh, jeez. Well, that's a silly mistake. But that is two free plays on the blood bank. Giving me flies, which most of them will disappear. Because you can only have five around you. Alright, that's the uh, second pretty fly, which completes our protection ring, which is really good against Isaac. Uh, he shoots a lot of shots. These will block a lot of them. Anyway, like I was saying, you can only have five fly, uh, five blue flies rotating you, meaning a lot of them will just disappear for no good reason. Okay, come on, anytime now. Anytime you want to blow up, I'm totally okay with it. Now, of course, I could gamble a bit on the uh, blood bank, because I know there is some health laying around. 
And also, if, if I win, it'll recover four hearts, which is most of my health, since I have six. <sighs> but I'm okay just accumulating soul hearts here and hoping to win a dollar. Bombs are key. Well, I can use two of the, both of them and then get back to where I started without having to worry about holding on to them for no good reason. Uh, at least this is taking my money at a quick, uh, quick rate because uh, I want to get out of here as soon as possible and get on to the boom and the cathedral that I'm almost guaranteed to win anyway. But of course I can't get too cocky. Alright, two hearts, play, steal, one, two, three, four. It's like these things just have infinite, infinite pools of blood that they can accept. Well, I can play that again. And I mean, give me the IV, IV bag. I don't care. I just, I'll re-roll it and I'll be happy. Well, maybe I won't be happy. Look at all this stuff. <sighs> I mean, I'm really... Oh my god. First time ever getting the dollar. Now I can just leave. Okay, we're gonna say that there are three hearts laying around on the ground in the area. Well, that sucks. Maybe there aren't? <laughs> but, I mean, really, I have a lot of soul hearts thanks to all the balls of steel and stuff. And just soul heart drops from the arcade. Not too worried. And I was almost correct. I mean, I might be correct. There's also that full health pill. Two full health pills, in fact. So maybe I'll go buy the full health pill, play down to half of a heart, use that, and then take the other full health pill with me without playing. Because I really would like just the blood bank to do me right. <sighs> Come on, blood bank. You got some chances here. And I mean, I don't care about the money. The money is useless. Okay, so I don't want that. I want to reroll that. Ghost Baby. It's another familiar. Shoot along with me. This one shoots Spectral Tears. I'm cool with that. And yeah, now I'm now I'm totally fine with the way this run is going. Not that I wasn't before. The run is going amazingly. Knights when they get all bunched together are pretty annoying. Uh, bombs are key. No thanks. I'll hold on to full health. And I'm, I'm not using full health immediately just because I don't really have to. I mean, if I use it later, I get more out of it. Like if I use it when I'm down to half a heart or whatever. It's just more hits I can take by a little bit. And that could be all the difference. So that's the end of this. Back to 99 cents. Thank goodness. I was so worried. I'm actually totally amazed that it took this long to get a dollar. 45, this is episode 45, I believe. And this is my first dollar. Alright, money, totally useless to me. Hey, if I, if this is, um, stupid damage, but if this is a challenge room, why not? It's a boss challenge room. And I don't really have a way to get rid of my, uh, health anymore. Thanks to that blood bank, finally dying. Well. And I didn't keep the IV bag. So I guess we'll abandon it as much as I would like to go into it. I've already gone to both secret rooms and they were not next to that. Is there a heart in here? Nah. Have a full health pill already. Let's go. 
finally onto the womb. Okay. Free secret room, maybe it's an item. Nope. But I could get another trinket. I don't actually really want the left hand. Give me another trinket. Crystal ball, I'll use it once. Just because of that, it shows me which one's the boss room. That's actually the direction I was going to head, but I might have checked up first. And I'll re-roll it for the shovel. I'll come back. I will. I'm assuming that it is a secret room item, but I could, it could be anything, I suppose. So after completing the next two rooms, or taking a hit or something, taking a hit and completing a room, well, I guess after this room I'll be going back to that reroll. And uh, what am I looking for? I don't know. I don't care. Anything good? I haven't collected raw liver yet. I didn't mean to use full health. I meant to... I pressed Q instead of E. Wow, raw liver. So that's a new item. That gives you uh, two health up and decreases range by one, I think, actually. So, yeah, that was pretty awesome. I, I seem to be uh, displaying some sort of prophetic wisdom over the random number generator in this game, which is unusual to say the least. So, no more rerolls there. Maybe we'll be using a reroll here, but maybe it'll be uh, death. And it's death, so we'll get our second cube of meat, which will be another familiar that'll shoot along with us, but it'll still rotate. So, once again, I'm gonna win. There's no doubt in my mind that I'm gonna win this run. If I don't win, if I don't win, there is something wrong. If I don't win, there's something wrong. Something wrong, rather. So I'm just kind of like wasting hearts here. All right, we get a reroll for the deal with the devil. Uh, Brimstone Polyphemus. I've never had it. I'm doing it. And then I'm rerolling that. Meh. Nah. So, thanks to all of the tiers up and, like, max tiers I've gotten, um, normally this would charge really slowly, but now it's charging incredibly quickly. And that's great. So, uh, this is gonna do more damage than you knew existed. Oh, all that for tiers down? Great. Yeah, more damage than you knew existed. I have lots of stuff shooting with me. And this is gonna be great. I'm probably going to two, three-shot mom's heart most. I could go for that. I could not. Uh, two of diamonds? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll take your money. Okay, soul heart. That's good. I'm apparently not off the screen anymore. Liberty Cap gives you a random, um, mushroom effect every room, which I guess I'll take over the left hand. I guess. Whatever. And assuming that this blows up into the crystal ball or something, I'll reroll that again. So what do we got? What do we got? Hurry up. I mean, I may as well make use of all of this money. It's just burning a hole in my pocket, as are many things a lot of the time in this game, apparently. Uh, yeah, that's two of hearts, which I don't need. Should have kept, but I have another, so whatever. Judgment. Yeah. i leave for that. That's something I want to reroll and use and stuff. That's a beggar. He can give me great items. Or not great items that I'll reroll into great items. Just, it'll be great. Yeah, health up, I'll take it. And then back to the grind, if you will. I wish I were Kane or just had picked up the luck foot, because I would win something on every roll of this. <clears throat> Which could be annoying, could be great, whatever. Hmm. <sighs> Keep waiting. Push pin is totally useless to me. So, uh, I'm about ready to leave this room. 
Look for the boss room once again. Once again. Lucky toe. Alright, one more trinket drops. I'm probably leaving because at that point it becomes annoying to just pick up trinkets non-stop when you're trying to play. Yeah, sure, what could this tarot card be? Temperance spawns blood bank. I don't want a blood bank. But I do want two of hearts. Alright, whatever. I'll keep Lucky Toe and Safety Cap. Lucky Toe just, like, increases our luck by one to three or every room or something. Randomly, and it resets to zero at the, at the end of the room. So, like, it's not overpowered, get more luck. I don't even know if luck is particularly useful. But anyway, it's not like you're going to end up with infinity luck by the end of the game or something. And I guess right on the boss room, it's good stuff. You're about to see the power of Brimstone Polyphemus, and now this means I've had a Polyphemus combination with pretty much everything good, except Technology 2. Technology 2 and Polyphemus is amazing. And so that's uh, going to be four hits, I guess? Yeah, four hits to kill Mom. That's this is disappointing. Uh, no. So, uh, Isaac is just gonna be simple. Like, not even, not even a risk here. So, we found our secret room. Hopefully that's an item that I want to reroll. Well, even if it is uh, an item I don't want to reroll. Probably gonna reroll it. Range up, why not? Two bombs? Sure. So hopefully I run across the top secret room along my travels. Nine cents? Well, I don't have 99 cents, so I may as well. And I, of course, could have bombed my way elsewhere. Uh, but I'm so overpowered. Two-shot monster, two. One-shot all the rooms. Ah, I took a hit. What a catastrophe. Tears up. It might affect it. Might make me charge Brimstone faster. And again, I might be charging it as fast as is already possible. One shot, another room. You know, whatever. Now I'm shooting all of these familiar tears. What does this game want from me? What? What? <laughs> what more is there to ask? I'm probably going to one shot both of these. Yep, there's that one. And here's that one. And now let's fight Isaac. This is going to be a joke. Like, pretty much literally a joke. I actually took a hit there. I'm too cocky. But for the most part, I mean, that's three hits into the second phase. Two hits into the third. And uh, two hits more and he's dead. Yeah, that was a pretty easy run. Apparently Isaac is just my character. So we've completed this picture now, but that doesn't unlock its unlock. Um, we picked up three new items that run. Awesome. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.